Yo, what is going on my fellow artists? Listen, in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys eight tips to help you guys with your mixing in FL Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. With tip number one, start with a clean project. I say start with a clean project because it makes sure that there is no extra audio files or anything getting in the way, no extra plugins and any different mixer tracks, nothing, okay? It starts you off completely free from the bass. Now step number two, I say to get to know your plugins, right? I say get to know your plugins because it helps you get to know exactly what you like and what you like your sound to be. It gets you intertwined and knowing and knowledgeable about the different effects that you can apply in your vocal mix. If you see any of my streams or even the way that I make these presets, it's because I'm familiar with the different things that I'm doing. I know what type of reverb I like, I know what type of EQ I need, I know what type of compression I like to add. I know the different things that I like to add for me. So it's key that you know what that is for you as well. So for step number three, I say utilize automation. Now, if you don't know, I have a tutorial on basic automation on my YouTube channel. You can click on this card right here and it'll take you there. But basically what automation is, it helps to add a little bit of movement and motion towards your mix. So you want the volume to go up and down, that's automated. You have to automate the thing to go up and down. And step number four, I say use EQ, but everybody should know to use EQ in their mixes. If you don't know that, this is me letting you know. All right, now you, what you need to do is use EQ because it helps to clean your vocal you know what i'm saying if you don't have eq on your vocals your vocals sound a little muddy so what the eq does is it helps to clean that up imagine like a little broom you add some eq what does it do it sweeps it up makes everything look spick and spick. now step number five step number five i'm gonna have to say compression in my opinion compression can either make or break your mix because if you ruin it, it in your car it can sound like the vocals are just stomping out the beat so you want to make sure that you're really compressing it controlling your gain and everything making it very smooth now step number six i would say have a reference what most people do is they take waveforms from different songs i'll put an example of it on the screen this isn't something that i personally do i don't use references but i personally will go into a car and just make sure that it sounds good in the car i check my airpods and then i check with me just listening through my phone that's how i check but this is really good for beginners that are starting to learn how to mix because it's, it lets you guys know and it helps you to see exactly what a good mix should look like. Now tip number seven. Tip number seven I will say is take a break. Learning how to mix can be extremely tiring. It takes a while. Like it, it's not gonna just be an overnight thing where you just wake up and you know how to do all of these plugins and know how to automate and everything. And it's not, it's not an easy process. And I understand that. But you also have to understand that on yourself. You don't wanna burn yourself out. Now listen, last but not least, experiment. If you wanna just throw some flangus on there and then drop two more flanguses and then just put a sound goodizer, mixing should be very fun. Okay, it's just literally about playing around, figuring out what works for you, experimenting. It does not matter if it sounds good or not because you're just beginning. So just play around with it, do it. If you like it, you like it, stick to it. If you don't, it's okay. Go ahead and switch it up a little bit. The key is to just don't be afraid to try something new and don't be afraid of failing because you really don't know what you might find out. You might discover something you like, you might discover something you don't like, but at the end of the day, you're trying and you're learning something new. But with that being said, I hope that these tips are very helpful for you guys out there. If you don't know, this channel is all about helping artists out with free vocal presets and just different tips and learning things that can help you out on your journey as an artist. So if you like that and you like how that sounds, do me a favor and click on this playlist right here to get yourself some free vocal presets or watch this video right here to learn how to make yourself your very own starter vocal chain. But if you like what I'm offering on this channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.